morning, good afternoon and good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new type of video for this channel. We have one of football's brightest stars of Yusufa Mokoku in FIFA 22 as I'm sure you are well and we'll be simming through the seasons of his career to see how he can develop in 5-10 years, see what player he will become. I believe his um, base rating, base potential sorry, is 89 in FIFA 22. But um, we'll be staying with him. We, I have ha do have mods in this game, so I'll be trying to loan him out, see what loan deals we can get him early on in, in his career. Because let's be real, he's not starting over Erling Haaland or Daniel Marlon. And eventually, maybe he wants have, has bigger ambitions than Bristol Dortmund, as good as a club as they are. So if he hits any transfers, we'll be moving with him too, just to see we see his stats overall see how good of a player he is. Now I'm aware that the 4.5 million pound man, his contract is ending very soon so we'll be giving him a new contract but after we've given him his new contract we'll be putting him straight on the loan list and we'll, uh, we'll jump back when we've got, found him a new club for this season. So not him 11 days in and we've already got an offer, two loan offers for Yusufa Makuku I believe. I couldn't help myself, I did bring in a Missouri from Ajax, so I thought you might be interested. We've received an offer loan to buy from Braga, and I don't really want Mkuku going to Braga as good as the Portuguese league is, it's just not where I want him developing. Because I think the second offer from Brighton Hove Albion for two years is a much more enticing offer if Yusuf Mkuku can get regular minutes, this could be big. I'm just going to accept that there and hope it goes through. There we go. No future options to buy or nothing, just two years straight loan to Brighton and Hove Albion. We're going to jump over to Brighton and Hove Albion, make sure they have no strikers that stand in Mukuku's way, and hopefully Yusuf Mukuku can sharpen his teeth in the Premier League a little bit. This would be interesting. We've made the trip over to Brighton on the south coast of the UK, and they do play with a two striker formation. We have replaced Graham Potter, I'm afraid, who is probably the best manager. South Coast has ever seen, arguable with Pochettino, but I've made that claim, I'm sticking with it. And Yusuf Makuku goes straight up top. He does have competition still with more pay, but two track formation, which should hopefully create a wonderful combination. That man Welbs and uh, the Aaron or Sean Connolly. Hopefully don't they don't nick any game time off him. You know Makuku is much more well, has a much higher ceiling than both of them both those two players and I do believe this is a perfect environment for Yusuf Makuku to show what he has and really impress in the Premier League. This is the Brighton team we'll be using for the first season. Makuku has gone top to a 70 rated already which is good signs. We have also brought in uh, Nathan Ake who did it pretty much a straight swap for uh, Yizbusuma and Yizbusuma is much more better player than Nathan Ake but I don't want nothing to do with Yizbusuma with all the allegations going around just don't don't agree with it don't like it whatsoever so don't, don't want in my team brought in Nathan Nako to make the defence a bit more solid and hopefully this Bryson team can do pretty well, pretty well this season let's go would you look at that halfway through the season I've never seen this before and 100 manager rating 7th in the league squad's looking alright yeah sure but 100 manager what's going on I'm, I've never seen that before. Absolute magic. We've made a lot of money, I guess. We're performing very well in the league to be seventh, but I'm speechless. <laughs> I've never seen. Some to the end of the season. Look at Makuku's stats. Maybe he's doing. Maybe he's in. Maybe he's the reason why we're 100. But I'm lost, lads. So, rather predictably, our man rating has gone down 10, which. Usually would be an awful thing, but considering we've gone from 100 to 90, this looks pretty right still. We finished 12th from the league, which is just below mid-table. Well, we're aiming for. But um, Yusuf Makuku has gone up to a 75 rated, which I'm very happy about. That's a plus 6. I'll have a jump and have a look at how many goals he's got. Because hopefully young strikers got bucket load of goals, not, not assists. Okay, he's got 10. 
which I'm pretty happy with. Not as much as No More Pay. He's finally put the ball in the back of the net with 21. And Al is it Alan McAllister? Alexis McAllister, of course. He's got 13 goals, 14 assists. He's had a great season. The use of Makuku, he's only he started 10 games less than both of them, almost. He got 10 goals, 1 assist. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, it doesn't look quite right in that Brighton kit. kit. Looks a bit odd, but for a first season, going up plus 6 ratings. Very happy for the first season for use of Goku. Got one more season with Brighton, and hopefully, he can push into the Dortmund first team if they've sold Haaland. If not, we might have to have a bit of intervention there. But for first season, I'm going to call this one a success. This is the second and the final season of Makuku at Brighton. And we have finished 11th in the league, so that's one better than last season. But, and the squad's looking much better, I've brought in Tarkovsky and Gallagher to help, uh, help Makuku improve up front. But it seems to have done the opposite. As if you look at the goals total this season, Despite playing 47 games, he's only scored 9 goals and got 5 assists, which I think is pretty bad, I'm pretty disappointed with that. I guess he is only 18 years of age. He is 80 rated, so expecting an 80 rated striker to do more than that. But the young man has only got himself 14 goal involvement all season. If he wants to push into Dortmund first team next season, he's going to have to do a lot more than that. Anyway, in the Premier League, I think it was, uh, I think it was City. I should probably got that wrong. It was Liverpool, sorry, who won the league. It was 76 points. We only got 51. Four behind Arsenal, who have really dropped off. So, and United, but more than United, we only got 48 points, who have seriously dropped off. But that is the rather anticlimactic end of Makuhu's time at the south coast. He's going back to Germany now, back into the Bundesliga and hopefully he can get a few more goals and a few more ratings as the young protege looks to put his name on the world stage. Man Yusuf Makuku is back at the Signal Aduna Park, that's Dortmund Stadium right? God, my football brain's not working right now. <clears throat> but unfortunately, so is this man here. He's got to go, we can't sell him, don't know why. And also this man here. Daniel Marlin, I can move to the left wing, he's much better there, he's got plus 2 from like 83 to 85, which is perfect. Erling Haaland will have to go for however many hundreds of millions whoever's going to pay for him. Actually, we haven't checked, Makuku's value has gone up to 53 million already. Which is pretty incredible from the start of the video where he was only 4.5 million. A failure on my part to not to check that. But having a look around this Dortmund team, and it's a very weird team since we last been at this club. We've got Mal, we've got um, Madaweke, who's another player I might do a video like this for, if you look like this one. Uh, we've got Lacroix, is that, I think that's how you pronounce that name. Correct me if I'm wrong, I honestly I'm not too sure. Bellingham stayed, but brought in, they brought in Renato Sanchez and Zach uh, Moreno, I don't know his first name, apologies. They've also brought in Saul on the bench, Holgate, Matty Cash, the new Polishman, and Aaron Ramsey kind of randomly. But um, yeah, we're going to sell Erling Haaland for a boatload of cash, and I think Makuku got a bit of um, big shoes to step in. Hopefully in season 3, he can score a few more goals than last season and put some even more millions on his valuation. End of the third season now, and our manager racing is absolutely awful, but Makuku, Yusuf Makuku is now 84 rated, which is all we care about. He, I think he's 19, actually we can go have a look in the squad hub. Go to the stats quickly. That's not one to look at, goals. Okay, so Daniel Marlin, the left wing now, has got 23 and 12 assists. That's a bit of a masterstroke, moving him up to the left wing. Wing, sorry. And Yusuf Makuku has got 20 goals and only one assist. But you know what? I'm happy with that. He didn't do the best in the Super Cup or Champions League. 
only one goal in the Champions League. He must have got knocked out early. But 20 goals, you can't be upset with that. Our front three between them have got what, 40, 50, three goals? I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. Nori Makalele did very good as well, 10 goals, 8 assists. So yeah, buzzing that to be honest, the season. With a 46 manager rating, you would have thought we didn't finish too high in the league. We finished second, so maybe the Dortmund fans are a bit upset over nothing. I did believe I saw us win a certain DFB Pokal against Bayern Munich 2-0. So you know, I think Dortmund fans would be happy this season. But I guess not. To be I don't know what else to say. You know, being a bit over dramatic. 14 man is a bit silly. But Ethan Kuku is now six, worth £69 million. Pounds, the, yeah, he is 19. Right. So I think overall it's been a good season. Back in the Bundesliga, his first season as a main starter back in the Bundesliga. We're going to jump into the fourth season. To be honest, I think this Dortmund squad is very good. Like, I think this can challenge for a Bundesliga title. We just need our front three to develop a bit more. So I'm not sure I'm going to make any more transfers. You know, the AI has done them all for me. Kobar's got about plus five as new Jesus. What was he, 84 to start the season? He's got plus three. That's great. So yeah, let's jump into the next season. Hopefully Makuku could boost the Dortmund to a Bundesliga title. Well, that's interesting. We just started the fourth season. Makuku's value has gone up. What was it last season? I can't, I can't remember. It was just a second ago for you lot. For me, it was a slightly longer. But now it's 108 million euros. Uh, unreal. I'm not sure where Sporting are finding the 144 million euros from. Definitely not Liga Nos. Just reject that for now. I did say Makuku will be moving around, but. It won't be to sporting, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> so we're going to sim to the end of this fourth season, second season in the Bundesliga. Hopefully we can do a bit better this time in the Bundesliga, but be a bit more of a challenge for Bayern Munich. As the squad's already improved so much in about two weeks, it's ridiculous. I have full faith in you guys, come on. Well that could only mean one thing. Borussia Dortmund have reached another Champions League final. And I'm really curious, it's against Liverpool, this final, we beat Inter 6-5 on aggregate, Jesus, that's a comeback, isn't it 5-2, that's an unbelievable semi-final comeback, beat Atletico Madrid 3-2 on aggregate as well, so 4-3 on aggregate, 3-2 away from home, which at the Wonder, Wonder Metropolitana isn't the easiest to do, and then we go ahead and beat PSG. Jesus Christ, you better have won the league. Yes, get him. 10 points above Bayern Munich. Only thing that can make this a perfect home run is if Yusuf Makuku has got a high goal tally. He's 88 rated now. And if you have a look at the stats, top goal scorer, there he is. 27 goals in all competitions, 4 assists. It's not bad, it's pretty good, you know. Sayo with 19, what's he doing? 19 and 12, one of the best performances I've ever seen from a midfielder. Back to the main topic at hand though. Yusuf Makuku has gone up plus 4 rating to an 88 rated striker. Surely this is his last season at Dortmund is if Dortmund win the league. Nori Malakawe, uh, Nori Malakawe, sorry, god, I've butched that. 17 goals and 13 assists, also very good from him. And Miguel Mourinho, what's going on with our midfielders this season? Jude Bellingham, probably the most talented out of all of them, has been the least impressive, which, you know, 4 and 5, eh, he still performed alright, I guess. But Yusuf Makuku, let's have a look at how much he's worth now. 153 million, lads, that is no small fee. If we do win this final, we're going to quick sim it. If we do win this final, he's got to be on the move. Maybe even to Liverpool if we do beat Liverpool on the 31st of May. Oh god, I don't care about the bloody emails. Alright, I'm happy with that side. The Liverpool side looks pretty good. Verratti, 
Tony Cruz, uh, Adm is it Admiral Guru from uh, Nice? God, I, can bet I can't remember. Oh, I'm guessing it is. But I, I would say we were favourites on this. Did we jump into quick sim? And. Oh, we lost on pens. Heartbreaking. That's absolutely heartbreaking. Not a great penalty um, turnout. I don't even know who a Mushante is. Who? What? Number 18. Never heard of him. That's... Um, anyway, we didn't quite win the Champions League final, but we did win the Bundesliga. And we won the Divi Pokal last season. Not sure about this season. But that's made Makuku's mind up. You know, he, he was going to leave if he won. But now he wants to leave because he lost. He wants to leave to bigger things. He wants to join one of Europe's superpowers in Manchester City, Man United, Liverpool, Chelsea. He wants to join one of the big boys. He wants to join the English club and finish what he didn't complete at Brighton where he didn't do the best. Actually, I am semi-interested how Brighton have done now that Makuku has left. And they've gone 16. Still all getting upset with me for not for only finishing mid-table. Brighton have finished 16, even though they have a very good squad. No strikers, but a very good squad. And I do want to point out that Nuremberg, who aren't even in the Bundesliga, uh, won the DFB Pokal, which is pretty special. They beat Gladbach, uh, Nuremberg, they beat Union Berlin. So they didn't have the hardest of runs. But still, that is very impressive. They've beaten a lot of Bundesliga sides and Dortmund lost to Stuttgart which is a bit of um, very disappointing. Anyway, I'm kidding, who am I kidding? Let's jump into season 5. Well this is the most anticlimactic way of displaying it, but Yusuf Makuku has moved to Liverpool and you are able to see in the top left, so have we. As soon as he goes we go. Yusuf Makuku for 334 million euros, a new transfer record, ladies and gentlemen, has joined Merseyside and joined Jurgen Klopp's army, who did just win the Champions League instead of instead of Dortmund's winning it off Makuku. And you know what better way? What better way to win the Champions League than by joining the boys who just knocked you out? We want to go to the team you can see with Allison in goal. Where is we can see the overalls? Allison Trent in his prime. Van Dyke's getting a bit old now, but he's still probably one of the best centre backs in the world. Mukuku's already up there at the age of 20 years old, looking absolutely fantastic in that kit. Jules Kunde, Andrew Robinson, Mo Salah started to decline, but hopefully he can teach Mukuku his ways as he has been one of the best strikers, one of the best forwards in the last of the last generation. Honestly, Masala is probably one of the best players in the world right now. Probably the best. Dabinho as well is great. Verratti, Sergio Mane, who will be replaced by Jota this season. It's finally happening. Jota's 28, which might be pissing him off. I had to wait a bit longer for Mane to age out. Anyway, Mukuku is delighted to be in the squad. 5 star, 5 star. So, I didn't realize she had so many traits at such a young age. Let's see what you can do for the boys in reds. End of a transfer window. We haven't brought anyone else in, just the squads that you'd expect. But they've stripped my my Dortmund team's gone. Like Makuku, the main striker, has gone to our team now at Liverpool. But Jude Bellingham's gone to Arsenal. Like, what the hell? And Sayo's has gone to Real Madrid. Like, lads. Ah. Oh, the poor... The the poor Dortmund team, man. Let's. I want to have a look at them quickly. Like this. This is. This is why Mukuku can stay, man. I mean, they brought in Darwin Nunes to replace Mukuku. That was. That was me, to be honest. In midfields, they bring in else in. M Miguel Moreno was a dealer. They brought in Ricky Puj. So we do have a good midfield free. Marco Ruiz on the bench, off the bench if he needs. But that's looking very thin midfield now. Did it bring in Allison? Luca Pellegrini? 
show. I mean, my, 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 oh, it's very disappointing. And I was semi interested to see what uh, Brighton have done. And they've, they've brought in uh, Bobbery um, Mariano, who's actually decent. I liked him at Lyon. And it's in Taliska, so they have brought in some players to replace the. Um, eight, um, Cuckoo's leaving. Uh, same with um, what was the other striker called? He couldn't finish his dinner last season. Neil Mopay. They replaced him fairly well. Uh, Gonzalo Ramos is a player I do like a lot. Tyler Adams in fields. Yeah, Bryce are doing good for themselves. Conor, Gall Conor Gallagher. They shouldn't be finishing 16th last season. They have a very good team. Lissandro Martinez as well. How did these lot finish 16th? Is a mystery. Oh, that's how. They didn't have a keeper. Doesn't matter. Moving on, moving on. Lads, disaster has struck. After having such a good first half of the season, we have lost the title. Really, only three points behind Man City. I think we were first until that the last month. But we lost it on the last day of the season. Heartbreak. You can blame various reasons, but the main reason really is Mohamed Salah's decline on the right wing. I think, let's have a look at the stats, I think Mikuku would have done his bits. I always go left, I don't know why. Yeah, they're good. Mikuku's got 28 goals in all competitions. Mohamed Salah, 33, 83 rated. 24 goals, you can't really complain about that. Doing absolute bits. Sergio Mane as well. But we've got a bit of a rebuild job to on our hands, lads. You know, Mikuku can't do this all on his own, and he's not. No, he's very good. But we're going to get this team back into the title winning contention. And we're going to have to... I mean, we do have a lot of money to spend to get that happening. God, that's pretty It's not a wage budget. It's 250 million for next season in the bank. So, season 5 done. Disappointing season. I think we've got knocked out pretty early with Champions League. Real Madrid, I believe, knocked us out. I can't say how early my heads. Madrid got to the final by the way. Why do we knocked out? That? There it is, we're knocked out in the round of 16. Absolutely awful results. Pretty awful. A season to forget by Liverpool's very lovely standards. Anyway, it's water under the bridge now. Next season we're coming for revenge. Not messing around here. End of season six now. We finally got there. It's starting to take a, a while to load through these seasons, but Liverpool have won the Premier League pretty um, unspectacularly, with only 79 points, which is one of the lowest I've seen in quite a while. If you want to jump to the Champions League, however, I've got something special to show you. That's right. It's Liverpool versus Borussia Dortmund. Makuku is versing the team that made him, the team that found him, the team that brought him to be the world beater that he is. In the semi-finals, we were lucky, very lucky, to win on penalties 5-4. We beat Spurs 5-2, not even on penalties, just accurate score. Spurs are a dead team anyway, it's fine. Beat Olympic Lyon, so we had a fairly easy run there. And then our group was a piece of piss. That's lovely. You've got to win this, lads. There's no if, buts, maybes. You've got to win this now. The pain. Hold on. Why don't I play Ricky Persia at right, left back? Right, left, left. <laughs> left back. And Kamavinga midfield. God, that team is confusing. We're going to jump into a quick sim. Come on. Yuta Makuku, please. Come on, the boys in reds. Champions League, England's most successful team wins another Champions League. And I didn't show you the rebuild we've done, but Diego Jota, Yusuf Makuku, the man himself, and uh, Ia Ajax Mariba uh, scored three goals for Liverpool. And Madueke, bless him, he's tried. The one goal for Dortmund was just not enough. And I think that's the seventh Champions League for Liverpool, isn't it? God, I've probably got that very badly wrong, I'm a Chelsea fan, I don't know how many Champions League Liverpool have, I don't care enough. And that's a great season, a, a, a Premier League and Champions League double is nothing to scoff at. I don't know what people are thinking with 68 manager rating. If you want to jump into the stats, sorry. For goals, you have Harvey Elliott actually. Actually, no, 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 why not look at the squad first, because... 
Yeah, there's 33 the squads. Harvey Elliott has gone from 18, uh, 85 to 89 rating this season on the right wing. Finally playing where he wants. We brought in Florian Verts this season. We brought in Ilex Mariva, who's gone from 85 to 89 as well. We brought back um, Kunate at left centre back as well. Because as you see, the defence is looking as good as ever has. Jota has started on the left mids. Hasn't grown at all, but I'm sure he's been absolutely fantastic, as we will see. So as we're going for goals, 27 and 9 for Javier Elliott. He has outshone, outshone, sorry, Yusuf Makuku. He's only got 26 and 6 goals. I say only. That's for uh, 32 goals comp contributions in all competitions. That is pretty ridiculous. Next we have Jugo Jota. 21 goal contributions, Florian Vert showing how good he is, and Ilax Moriba rounding out. They also bring London Messi's regen, just so I know what club he's at. If we do make another move, I don't think he'll ever take Harvey Elliott in a light year. And the reason why I say so I know where he is, because I think this is Yusuf Makuku's final season at Anfield. I think he does want to move on again. You know, he doesn't want to be part of the rebuilds, but Liverpool have gone under. You know, they still have players aging out, like Alisson, Fabinho, Robertson, all of them are getting to their late 30s, I think. Miku doesn't want to stick around any longer, he want, doesn't particularly like Liverpool, doesn't want to be in England any longer, you know. He's not a fan of the rain, he wants to go to Spain, that's what he wants. He wants to go to Spain or Italy, make a name for himself, at one of the most prestigious clubs in the world. Ooh, I did not expect this. A 22 year old has been offered, has had an offer from PSG and if this was another season I would take it but however sorry this video is already going on quite long I'm getting very tired and I just don't want to move to the French League I don't think the French League is a place to be, I don't think it's very competitive and especially with what's going on in the footballing landscape in the past couple of months with everyone in that league getting exposed I don't want to avoid that leak. That sounds like the best move. So we're just going to reject that. Three hours remaining of a transfer window. The 22 year old Yusuf Makuku has made yet another £200 million transfer move. This time to Real Madrid leaving Anfield and joining the, the Bernabeu. Had to think there, almost said Camp Nou. <laughs> My heart crucified for that. In this window, we've also, we've also seen Camavinga. Return to Real Madrid and Teo Hernandez join uh, Les Blancos. I think that's the nickname. Good. Like I said, lads, I'm tired now. But even Kuku has joined a very good Madrid size. You know, Vinicius Jr., absolute class to have him in the squads. Essential might need, might need upgrading upon. And that defence is a bit meh. Catois 35. But in the here and now, that that team is very good, especially Saul, who at Dortmund had a, that one unbelievable season that got him his move to Madrid. So we're going to sim to the end of his final season for today at least, and hopefully Makuku can do absolute bits in La Liga. And there we have it, lads. There we have it. We have hit, hit Yusuf Makuku's third Champions League final, and the final one of today with Real Madrid and he looks absolutely fantastic in that kit. It's against Manchester City who are doing very strange things. I had to change their kit. They have, a, they have so many defensive midfielders and nobody left back. They ha I've, I've tried to check it. They have no actually have no left back. They have no normal midfielders. It's Paul Torres playing a bit of tackle with Tonali and Rodri. I couldn't fix it any more than that lads, I'm sorry. We're going to quick sim this game, then we're going to look at Yusuf Makuku's stats this season. And there it is, the 1-0 win with Vinicius Jr scoring in the first minute. God, that might be the most boring Champions League of all time. They subbed off Yusuf Makuku in the 60th minute. God, personally, I wouldn't have that. Or Salazar, who the hell is Salazar? There we have it, Madrid's won their 100th Champions League title, it seems. And Mokoku's one is second, with two of Europe's biggest superpowers. If we want to 
go to Mukuku actually. Yeah, who's is Israel Salazar? Started 22 games this season. And Mukuku, as you see there, has gone and scored only 18 times in the league, which is honestly fairly disappointing, you know. I thought a 92 rated striker would have got a few more goals than that, so you can see how well someone like Vinicius Jr. has done with 29 goals and 14 assists in the league. Absolutely outstanding from him. Mukuku is slightly letting the side down. Final season in Madrid's final season of today. We also have Asensio doing pretty well and Luca Pellegrini doing pretty well and Kamavinga 10 and 10. You love to see it. But I think that's where we're going to wrap up today's video ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to see more like this, smash a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.